In the prime of his career, the man known as the Amazing Preskin mystified audiences, entertained fans of all ages, and became the model for generations of future mentalists. There you are, ladies and gentlemen, the very car you follow. George Kresge Jr.'s interest in appearing to read people's minds was sparked at the age of nine, followed by years spent honing his craft, using psychology and body language to read people's thoughts. It's the unconscious, really, that's 90% of our thinking, and that's what I tap into. More suggestible in groups. In the 70s, he lit up TV screens with shows like The Amazing World of Kreskin. Shot in Canada, it also played in the U.S. I still have my Kreskin board game. Fellow mentalist and magician Daniel Pollan grew up watching Kreskin. I can't read your mind, but I'm going to make you think that I can. And um, uh, I don't think there, there was a better person, a better master at the ESP and the mind reading than Kreskin. His talent was a big draw for late night talk shows. The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson had him on nearly 90 times. He popped up on David Letterman's show, too. Talk show hosts love guests who come to entertain. It's like a night off for them. And so Kreskin was the perfect guest because he had his act and people were amazed. Comedians like Jim Carrey did impersonations of the mentalist. It just would, uh, would grow into total manic, insane energy. And he, it used to crack people up. The social media post announcing the entertainer's death stated performing for all of you brought immense joy to his life, and it was something he deeply cherished. The amazing Kreskin was 89 years old. Goodbye, everybody. Magda Gebrasalasis, CBC News, Toronto.